Yo, welcome to the second part here of my trip to the Netherlands and as you saw in the title I will be visiting the three largest cities here in this country and bonus point I will also be visiting a little and authentic village Okay, so today is a whole new day we managed to get a second bike here and uh, the, the climate uh, this morning is, uh, is very standard here for uh, Amsterdam it's very cloudy and uh, it's jizzling and we are now heading uh, towards the city center to uh, to uh, go on and visit the city yes look at that look at this team we managed to get a third bike so now we are ready to ride the whole city let's go and let's see where turn is leading us we are here now in Vondel Park this is a park here very appreciated by the inhabitants and it, I would say that it's the main central park here in the city so this place is known for being the flower market they sell you flowers, also souvenirs, but also seeds from, uh, for many flowers and also groups. So you can grow uh, your own flowers by yourself. We are now here in a place called Beginhof. It's one of the oldest courtyards here in Amsterdam. And this is a private residence, that's why you can't go all around the, the courtyard. And this is another backyard where tourists can go and visit. And this place here was completely destroyed by a big fire that occurred in the 15th century. So we are now in the new Beginhof that mostly dates from the 17th and 18th century. So here we are once again on Dam Square. We passed the through this place yesterday during King's Day. And I'm, I am now in front of the Royal Palace here, which is one of the three palaces here in the Netherlands. It has been finished in 1665 and its architectural style is the classicism. And for your personal information, its original Dutch name is Koningsklik Palace van Amsterdam. Yeah. This is the one. And this dam square is located in the center of the city. Okay, let me introduce you to uh, two of my new friends. Here they are. Hey, don't fight. Nice, we are taking a little break here for, uh, to have lunch. We all um, got our little salad and we are now eating in front of a canal. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? Okay, there might be something interesting here just in this street. I am just in front of Anne Frank's house. This is the one just like just here. She's a very famous diarist and she very and she's very famous because she documented her life hiding under Nazi persecution. And you can visit this house because it's actually a museum and the ticket costs only 16 euros. Guys, I'm for real. Look at this. Look at this. Like this is a this is a parking lot only for bikes. Damn. And it's an underground parking lot. I mean, I'm not even joking. Look at this. Look, we are now arriving at Central Station. This is the main train station here in Amsterdam. And this is the famous Red Lake District. Well, we are not at nightlife yet, but still, this is the one. We just got our food to get some uh, to get some pasta tonight. Enjoy your meal, everyone. And we are looking at one of my videos, as everyone should do. <laughs> Look at this beautiful morning. Turn made us uh, some uh, grilled cheese. Thanks, Turn. And we are just enjoying the sun. Yo, look at this! We have such a beautiful day today. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> so, this is how you put your bike on the second level. You put it up. Nice. Thanks for the demonstration, Tun. There you got your bike. <laughs> we are here in the financial center and according to Tun, this is the most expensive place here in the Netherlands to buy or rent a house. Here we are at the train station and today we are going to Rotterdam and The Hague. And because Tun has a, a special card uh, for being a student and also because he pays a monthly plan, he is able to give us a, a special discount. So Maria and I are only going to pay 20 euros for the whole round trip. Isn't it amazing? Let's go! It's not accepted, not super legal. Um, we just arrived in The Hague or Den Haag in, uh, in Dutch or uh, La Haya in Spanish or La Hague in French. Here we are! Oké, okay, dames en heren, welkom in Den Haag. Dus uh, naast Amsterdam is het de derde grootste stad van Nederland. En uh, hier is het politieke hart van Nederland. Uh, alle ministeries zijn hier. En ondertussen gaan we eventjes de rest van de stad uh, ontdekken. Ja, 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 ja. 
Yeah. <laughs> so basically he said that here we are in the third uh, biggest city in the Netherlands after Rotterdam and Amsterdam of course and we are about to visit um, the political uh, neighborhood and also we are gonna be hanging out here in the city and yeah sightseeing because yes even if Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands all the political buildings and the administrative life is here in this city The Hague it is also important to mention that The Hague is the capital of the province of South Holland and it also hosts the International Court of Justice and also the International Criminal Court. And here I am on the plane, the place here. This is a very simple name, but this is the name. According to Tun, this is where the House of the Representative is and this is where the King does his uh, yearly speech and over there we have the Senate on this side. So what was the name of the city again? Scheveningen. Scheveningen. <laughs> so yeah, we took a bus uh, from, uh, from The Hague and we are now on the west coast on the, of the Netherlands and we are facing right now the sea. Look at this. Look at that guys. This is the North Sea. Woo! The beach here in the Netherlands. This is actually my first time here coming and seeing this sea. Like this is crazy. Okay, who's down for a little swimming here? Is the water is the water that cold? It's cold. It's very cold. I really need to say this is a very unusual day here in the Netherlands because it's uh, it's near the 20 degrees, the sky is very clear and um, and uh, you have a shiny sun but still like uh, nobody's getting in the water but people are coming to the beach <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> okay Tun, what are we going to eat here kibbling it's a deep fried cod um, and it's really good you have to be careful for the birds uh, nonetheless because the last time i was here the half of my plate got stolen by a bird <laughs> okay thanks yeah we need to get to the to the metro station. We are going directly to Rotterdam. Oof! We nearly missed that tram. So we need to take this one first and then let's go to the train station. So this is gonna be the train that's gonna get us to Rotterdam. And this should be only a 15 minutes ride. Here we are! We just arrived in Rotterdam, as they say. Apparently, I don't need. <laughs> and right here we have the beautiful city hall of Rotterdam. Here is one fun fact about Rotterdam. Well, actually, it's not fun, but uh, anyway, you need to know that Rotterdam was completely bombed by the Germans during the Second World War, and uh, of course they rebuilt everything since then. Uh, this is why uh, Rotterdam is, a qu is quite a modern city. Uh, so it has history, but it doesn't have this uh, historical center, for example. As I quickly mentioned before, Rotterdam is the second largest city in the Netherlands. So I will have been in the three largest cities in the Netherlands just today. That's crazy. Oh, and it's also very important to mention that the port of Rotterdam was the busiest in the world between the 60s and the 80s. And it's still now the biggest port in Europe. And here is the Erasmus Bridge connecting the south and the north part of the city. It is also the second largest bridge in the Netherlands. And here is another view of the bridge. And now I am in the head park. What an enjoyable green place to be. And in the same park, there is the Euromass Tower. This is an observation tower. It has been constructed in 1960 and the observation platform is at 96 meters above ground. And there's also a restaurant. And here we have a church, Lauchenskirch Church, I think. 
or whatever, man. I don't know how it's pronounced. Like, I'm sorry. Sometimes this language is so difficult, man. I'm sorry. Hello, everybody. Welcome. We're here at the Marikallen, and it's uh, <laughs> like a food hall. It's in the city center of Rotterdam. It's really cool. Like in the, in the inside, the whole uh, ceiling is covered with. Uh, like art from vegetables and fruits is really cool and on the outside there are residences So yeah, this is a huge residential and office building that has that has a whole market hall underneath Can you imagine how expensive it is to get an apartment there? I mean look at this. This is huge inside And it has been opened in 2014. I mean this is crazy There's a huge market inside and apartments all around and this kind of big drawing here on the glass, this is because the king was here during King's Day. So this is part of the decoration. It's not permanent. I mean, look at the size of it. I love this market. And these are the famous cubic houses here in Rotterdam. Look at this. These are apartments for real. And some are uh, for rent. This is incredible and weird at the same time. And this building is called the Zitte House. In English, the White House. Prost, Prost, Maria. <laughs> I ordered a little apple pie here. After this little tour in uh, The Hague and uh, Rotterdam, it is now time for us to come back to Amsterdam for a little coffee. Welcome, we're back in Amsterdam and we're gonna get some coffee at the Kade. It's a coffee shop. Um, yeah, let's get for a cafecito. Okay, here, as Tom told you, this is a coffee shop and this is the, pla the kind of place here in Amsterdam where you can get a coffee or any other drink and you can casually ask for a joint. Because here, let me remind you guys that we are in Amsterdam. In <laughs> Amsterdam, weed is completely legal. Weed is not actually completely legal in the Netherlands. Uh, they made it legal for us as consumers to buy the weed. So for me, it's completely legal to go to the coffee shop uh, get something to drink and then buy some weed and smoke some weed here uh, But it's not legal for the coffee shop itself actually to get the weed from the growers So they have they need to go to the legal market to get the weed, but for us as consumers it's legal to buy it <laughs> <laughs> And then you casually smoke it. How good is this one? It's good. It's good Salucita <laughs> And we just got back home. Here I am. Came the sad moment where we all needed to go our separate ways. Uh, Maria had to go back to Italy because she's doing her student exchange there. And Turn is going to Prague tonight with a friend of his. I really thank Turn for receiving me during this week. He showed us a few things. He was our guide for a few days and he allowed me to save a lot of money for real. And here we are arriving again on Dam Square with Luis. Let's go on a boat. Luis and I just got our little tickets for this uh, boat tour that's gonna last around one hour. And each ticket for one person cost around 20 euros. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you just look at me, I'm tall, blonde high, blonde hair, blue eyes, weird accent. I'm Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> you can also have bigger boats for half the price, but this one's gonna be a nice experience, plus the staff or the crew gives us some really good expert information about the city. There is also a little bar here, but this is not included, of course, in, uh, in your tickets. Look at these houses, they are so tilted. And uh, according to the, to the crew, these are known for being the drunken houses. According to the pilot, this is the first time in eight years that they are checking him. They are actually checking his license. Guys, this is very surprising how calm the streets are right now. And uh, when I think about King's Day like three years ago, it was crazy. Like the streets were absolutely crowded. So a very nice tour. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it so much. Enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. It was good. Thank you guys. We just finished our little tour on the boat and my honest opinion is that this is really worth it. I mean, this is a big recommendation I'm giving you. And this is gonna be our hotel for the night. This is nice. And here we are following with the adventure. We had a little breakfast, Luis and I back in the hotel and we took a taxi and we are now in the village of Sanse Shans. And once again, I don't know if it's pronounced this way, but here we are in this village, Sanse Shans. It's a little and authentic little village that brings you back in time in the 18th and 19th centuries because it has a lot of fields, windmills, 
workshops and farms, barns, everything we need to see. And here are the typical windmills that you can see everywhere here on the postcards from the, from the Netherlands. And there are several of them all along the river here. We are gonna try if we can get and visit in there and see how it works. So here we got inside the windmill. This one was rebuilt in the 19th century and this one was used to create color pigments from natural resources. And this one was the first process and this one was the second one. These are huge mechanics working with the wind. And here is an example of all the color pigments that they can produce with uh, such a windmill. Look at this, this is how the horizontal rotation is transformed into a vertical rotation. And this is a 100% authentic windmill, it works fully with the wind. Nice, this is looking good, look at this. We have a nice little view over the fields and also over the, the other windmills here, as I said, all along the river. We went into this one and the ticket for an adult was only 5 euros. That is a nice point of view. Here you have a very typical house and just next to it some of sheep. We took a taxi and now here we are back in Amsterdam and more exactly I am here right now in the Amsterdam National Maritime Museum. Look at this, this is the old boat I was able to see from, uh, from the other side of the city when I was there, walking a few, uh, few days ago. So uh, it's part of the museum and I think we will be able to get on it. Let's go! This is a replica of the Dutch East India Company, so it's a commercial boat and this boat was built in the 80s. Here we are, we are inside the boat. And here we are at the bottom of the boat. This place here was used especially for storage. They used to store here gun, gunpowder, ammunition, food and everything they needed on board. And here I am on the deck and more exactly at the front of the boat. That's so cool being here. And over there we can see the Nemo Museum. And when you think about it, this is a very well done uh, real life replica. It looks very good. Here I am entering in the little rooms or little apartments and I think this was reserved for uh, the most important people. So here for example we have the, the surgeon's room. We have all the rooms here where all people used to sleep I guess. And let's go at the rear. As you can see I need to bend to move around in here. And I think it might get uncomfortable if you stay here for a while. I imagine, I guess. Look at this. Nice. And this was it. Pretty cool, right? Well, actually, we couldn't visit the entire museum because it was closing at 5 p.m. So before we could continue our visit, but I feel like we visited the, the most important thing. Okay, so with Luis, we got some food in an Italian restaurant and then he had to go to another city. So I, I accompanied him to, uh, to until the train station. And tomorrow I have my flight at 7 a.m. going back to Lyon in France. Yes, let's go. Let's get some rest. Thank you, Tun, once again, for real, you are of so much help. Okay, so it is precisely 5 a.m. in the morning and I need to walk until the train station. Let's hop on the first flight from Amsterdam to Vienna. And now let's board the second flight from Vienna to Lyon. Uh, I know this is a little bit crazy for, uh, to come back to Lyon from Amsterdam uh, through uh, Vienna, but uh, this is how it is, it's not my fault. And uh, these were uh, last minute changes. French Alps and the Mont Blanc should be somewhere over there. Let's go! Here I arrived safe and sound at Lyon. I had to take uh, two buses to arrive at home. And thanks for accompanying me on this little trip to the Netherlands. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one. Woo!